Introduction Flat Plate Collector A flat plate collector is a sonar panel device that uses solar energy to generate thermal energy. It converts solar power into thermal energy that is cheaper energy utilizing water as an operating fluid. Types of flat plate collectors First one Flat Plate Collectors Flat plate collectors are the most simple and common type of solar collector that anyone can see in their areas. These are basically metal boxes with a dark colored absorbed plate and having a transparent glazing cover on the top. Such plates are generally fabricated from a metal such as copper or aluminium which is a good conductor for better absorption and retaining of the heat. These absorption plates are sometimes painted with special coatings other rather than usual black paint. Here is a brief reference in regard to how these collectors work and what their components, what their components are. There is a glazing material used in flat plate collector. The material is transparent and the solar radiation courses down through the material in order to reach the absorbing plate. Once enough radiation hits the absorber plate, it does it stop heating the plate. The entire purpose of behind the generating and circulating the generated heat between the absorber plate and the glazing cover is to raise the temperature of the water of the air flowing between the plate and the cover. To diminish heat losses to other parts of the solar collector, the bottom and the sides of the devices are covered with insulation. Evacuated tube collectors. <coughs> when when talking about the evacuated tube color solar collector, you will find out that instead of there is one entire fleet of evacuated tubes needed to raise the temperature of the water by heating it. Such tubes use an evacuated space or vacuum to trap the energy from the sun. The main application of these tubes is to minimize the heat loss. Here is a reference in regard to their component and working. A metal tube plays the part of the absorber plate. The absorber plate is directly patched with a heating pipe. The liquid that has to heat it flow inside the heating pipe. The job of the heating pipe is to show the direction to the heat so that it can raise its water's temperature. Easier said than done. It's not that simple to understand how the heated pipe allows the transfer of thermal energy from one point to another. But worry not, we have simplified things for you. There is a naturally two ends in heating pipe. One end at the side of the absorber plate, it's where the heat is generated. Hence, this point is known as the heat and the second end opens that the side of the cool water and that's supposed to be heated. This end is naturally known as the cold end. At a certain pressure, the generated heat starts flowing towards the cold end, eventually heating the cold water. Line focus collector, better known as the parabolic troughs. The line focus solar collector uses the same principle for heating water or air that other collectors do. Heating, uh, Heating on an absorber plate and then transferring it to a water that to be heated. The collector here is a rather effective parabola shaped reflective material. The line focus collectors are extremely powerful solar collector types. Therefore, they are used for producing steam for large solar thermal power plants and not for the domestic power plants. There is a pipe in the center of the throw that function as a carrier of water. The sunlight gathered by the reflective material is focused on to the central pipe which leads into the heating of the water. Notably, the trough productively produces heat energy from the sunlight. Specifically, the pivot trough which tracks the sun throughout the day for optimal trapping of sunlight. Types of solar collector. The fourth one is the point focus or the parabolic dish collector. The point focus collectors are also large parabolic shaped devices that are fabricated with highly reflective material. These type of solar collector again follow the same concept as, as that of the collector. They directly focus on all the collected solar energy on a single point that is usually the absorber plate. The heat generated is so sub substantial that it is used for the operating the stirling in engines. This parabolic dish can work as an independent installation. For efficient collection, they constantly track the position of the sun. They can very well be used in the tandem with the con concentrated PV modules. Construction of the flat collectors. Working of flat plate collector. The working of flat plate collector involves the transfer of heat or thermal energy. The op operation medium exchanges the heat from sun rays. The heat absorbing plate of the collector is exposed to sunlight. 
as the sun ray hit the flat plate surface a portion of their energy is transformed into the heat this lead to a rise in temperature of the flat plate solar collector where a fluid is passed inside the collector the temperature of the fluid increases as the heat from the observing plate heat is transported to the fluid eventually the fluid transmits the energy thermal energy from collector to functioning energy system for different uses it works on a simple principle of the first and second law of thermodynamics advantages of flat plate collector a flat plate collector facilitates the collection of direct energy from all direction and diffuses the thermal radiation it is a clean pollution free system and of the energy generation the power utilized by fpvs is natural and renewable flat plate collector devices have relatively low maintenance cost and longer working life it is easy to fabricate and economical it can be installed effortlessly fpvs are fixed to mounting structure in a tilt and tilt and variation in the which they receive maximum sunlight with fpc more energy can be generated even at the low temperature disadvantages of flat plate collector first one unstable performance unlike other solar panels uh, the performance of the flat plate collector is very unstable affecting their energy output the performance of the fps are has been found to be affected by many factors like weather condition geographical condition and local climate changes Insufficient storage. As a FPC is only designed to produce a limited amount of thermal energy, its storage capacity is also significantly less than the than that of other solar system. Due to this, electricity produced from the system can sometimes be less than the electricity used by the system. The flat plate collector storage facility is also linked with the higher temperature and is affected by the low irradiance. This results in continuous loss of the heat. end of each day which makes it impossible for the system to recover even 50 to 60% of its produced energy application of flat plate collector the flat plate collector has become more and more popular all over the world because of its simplicity and the ease of installation at low cost fpc can also be used to heat the ground water and other underground medium it is also effective in use using a evap evaporative cooler and humidifier by using an evaporate tube that can be connected to a tank of water which water sources source such as rain water many commercial buildings of or homes use flat plate collector in office space restaurants schools apartment buildings and uh, to build an h h v a c systems these are also used in food processing plant where they can be used for dry fruits and vegetable other common application of flat plate collectors are solar water heaters system for district heating the water heating of air or liquid in the industrial process and the solar space heating conclusion in conclusion flat plate collectors are one of the most common solar uh, thermal technologies and can be highly effective in produce in providing sustainable energy of for heating space and water it is simple to construct and operate however it has some disadvantage that includes unstable performance and limited efficiency it is important to identify your needs by looking for the various types of solar collector some flat plate heaters can be connected directly to the building's hvac systems others require separate electrical supply as mentioned earlier there are many benefits associated with using a flat plate collector as alternative energy sources for heating water or space but given amount of choices available in the market it is difficult to make an informed decision